amendments. The gentleman is recognized. I thank the gentleman for yielding. You know, America used to be the leader in nuclear energy. It should be one of the key parts of our energy security and the awe of the globe. However, we've allowed it to deteriorate and for other countries to take the lead on the global stage. Instead, Russia and China are building a larger and larger presence in global nuclear power. Together, the two account for nearly 70 percent of the reactors under construction are being planned worldwide. The United States cannot stand by and allow China and Russia to be the standard bearers of nuclear energy. Just imagine the nuclear proliferation implications, let alone the economic ones. Don't be fooled. Are, these are just another way for China and Russia to exert influence and manipulate countries around the globe. We've seen it with the Belt and Road Initiative and with nuclear plants that, mean, that this means for decades and decades of developing countries tied to China. Thankfully, this doesn't have to be the case. We can have a new American nuclear renaissance, and this bill, the Atomic Energy Advancement Act, will provide important steps to do so. We've proved that in the state of Georgia with the two newest reactors built in this country in over 30 years. This bill includes reforms to the Nuclear Regulatory Commission to increase licensing efficiency, strengthen our nuclear workforce, make advanced nuclear technology more accessible through fee reductions, modernize reviews, and other important improvements to how nuclear is approached in the U.S. I'm pleased to have my bill, the Global Nuclear Energy Assessment Cooperation Act, which I introduced along with Representative Scott Peters from California, included as a section of this bill. This bill would take a multi-pronged approach, promoting nuclear energy around the globe by providing global nuclear energy assessment, providing a program for training and sharing of expertise, and prohibiting or provide for an international nuclear reactor, reactor export and innovation branch. This will inspire coordination, research and development for the U.S. and our allies, which is extremely important. Lastly, it will prohibit the import of nuclear fuel assemblies from hostile foreign nations, including Russia and China. Gentlemen's time has expired. My hope is that this. More seconds. Lastly, it will provide the import of nuclear fuel assemblies from hostile foreign nations, including Russia and China. This will encourage energy independence and prevent our country from being reliant on our enemies for our nuclear energy needs. My hope is that my bill will be just one small part of improving the global con competition for nuclear energy. This is how we begin to secure a safe, reliable energy future for the United States of America and democracies across the globe. Thank you, Madam Chair, and I yield back.